Alright, this video is about how to take wiggles and do wireless reconnaissance on the internet of the address or SSID you uh, got of the location that a target for pen testing. I want to give you guys a warning. It's only for educational purpose only. If you do, do anything illegal with um, the knowledge I give you, I'm not responsible for your bullshit. You've been warned. Okay, Wiggles.net is for war drivers. You can download an app on your phone, use your GPS to scan wireless and Bluetooth devices. I use that all the time. I'm a war driver and a war walker because I only get to walk or uh, my buddy take me somewhere. I war drive. I've been war driving highways and stuff. If this is another piece of valuable information. If you got a target, let's say you work for a company that you want a pen test, you could look up the address and find out. If they got wireless information, not information, but wireless network uh, broadcasting from the vicinity, then you can see what the other war drivers um, picked up, look at their data online which, at wiggles.net, then you could take that value information and go on war drive yourself around that uh, uh, proximity where that building is, then you can actually pinpoint the location of the uh, signal by the DBMs. I think I got it right, DBMs. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. I believe I'm right. And you take the signal strength with the GPS coordinates and measure um, the distance from where the access point is. You could take a directional antenna then trace the signal back to its point of origin. I'll show you all that in the future. But right now we're going to use Wiggle.net to do wireless reconnaissance on to see what other war drivers that um, found uh, around the area. We're going to pick on Covington Police Department in Covington, Kentucky. No Nothing against you guys. I love you guys. But it's all this information, public information anyway, what makes it illegal is what your attention is with the data you collect. If you're going to use it to break into shit illegally, that's illegal. I don't condone that. This is for educational purpose only where you know uh, the risk out there who has your data online about your network. You, you could better secure your shit. <laughs> Let the game begin. Okay. First, we gotta look up the address of the place where you want. You can use G maps on a uh, GPS satellite maps on your phone. I'm just gonna use old Google Maps right here. See, I got Covington Police Department. Nothing against you guys. Uh, don't worry. I think I already okay. I'm just to make sure you guys didn't had no networks in here. Just uh, just just in case. I'm just just for educational purpose only. And when I looked at this and uh, on Wiggles that uh. Your, I didn't show your network, but I do got a copy with your network in it. Uh, but uh, uh, when I war drive that area, okay, let's start. Let me bring bring up the web browser. Okay, here we go. Wiggle.net. See right here. Wiggle.net. I want the access to copy the address where you want to go if it allows me. Here we go. Copy. Then look. Uh, type it in. Then look up the address. And see, see all these blue dots. These are wireless networks. I already find out that the their network's not here so far. I hadn't looked at all these blue dots. You look at all these blue dots. These are wireless signals, and you could go up here and type the SSID or the BSSID if you know them. If you don't know them, you just type an address, look up, and here's the police department's address. We click on what I know don't got their information, and hopefully, right here. See, this is valuable information. It gives you the longitude and latitude where that la that network's seen in the ESSID, the BSSID, that's the MAC address of the router. The first seen in the last time, that means in 2007 that network was scanned. In 2007, that might be outdated information. That's why I clicked on that one. And broadcast on channel 11 using Christian Web. You shouldn't be doing that because there's a security flaw in that. You could crack that in five minutes. Quality of signal, one, uh, then that might be for one DBM, if I'm not mistaken. Most likely it might be a hotspot or something. And on Madison, Kentucky, the address. Let's zoom to it. You can get a better thing. See, all that's to do is look around on the wiggles to find out if, the, if somebody scanned it already. See, I don't think there's any ESSIDs with their uh, Covington Police Department in this one. Somebody must have took it out. But 
Me, I wouldn't do it because I believe anything you can see in the air is legally you can attain. And I will put it post on, on the internet. Uh, let's see. Practical with it is on, on, only downside is this. So far, the only on limited use how many times a day you can use this uh, website. I think it's like two or three times. You'd be careful what you use it because you'll be able to use it a certain amount of time of the day. How many times you'll allow connected to this website using it. And you have to have a user account right up here. You have to create a user account to do anything. And you can upload your own war drive. You take Wiggle. I'd make another video how to use Wiggle to war drive to collect wireless um, d uh, data in the air and stuff. First, this is the first step. Wireless reconnaissance. See, if somebody has a war drive in that area already, you can look at it. Apparently, you can see over here, somebody war drive the shit out of this area. Some of this data could be old. I'm just going to warn you. That's why when you do this, Gotta make check the dates because it could be old and that network's no longer up, or it could have been a hot spot and had been there for years. Or and if they did put a network up, it might uh, not been there when the last time I war drive and they just recently put it up. I know because the police department got two hot spots I think one not hot spots, two wireless networks one's hidden, they're personal, and there's another one called Coveted PD Public Wi Fi, something like that. I know there's a Wi-Fi there, a network. That's why I just decided to pick this one, because it's all public information. And ain't nothing against the police department. I think this is about it. All that do is type in a uh, web browser, wiggles.net. W-I-G-L-E.net. I hope I got that right. Then you can do this, and you can upload, too. Uh, to the website. Let me see if I can bring it up. If you have an account, you can upload right here. Upload a file. I don't want to upload none. I've been kind of busy. You see all these? These all the uh, stuff I uploaded. All the networks I discovered myself. I did a lot of war driving lately. In the past two months, this is two months worth of daily data collecting. And you just you just got to do. You could do a lot of recons, reconnaissance me, not recon, on wireless if I use some wiggles. Then if you want a more up-to-date um, reconnaissance on it, you're just going to have to go war drive yourself or war walk, whatever you want to call it. It's, I call it to the uh, name or what I'm doing. If I'm on a bicycle, I call it war biking. If I'm uh, walking, I call it war walking. If I'm in a car, I call it war driving. It just depends on what you call it, but the definition, true definition of war driving, that's where it came from. Originally, came the war driving me came from the movie War Games. Don't mind my buddy in the background. He's bringing his dogs in. From the movies um, war, war, war Games, I believe. That's where they actually make from War Dowling. All right, I'm done. I'm signing off. Happy hacking, my friend. I see you guys on the internet.